Hello, it's the IT Guys 99 here. Welcome back to Microsoft Excel 2016. Today we're going to be looking at the sum ifs function. The sum ifs function will sum a series of values if they meet multiple criteria. So we'll look at how we insert the sum ifs function there. You might recognize this layout from our previous tutorial, but this time Rather than just retaining the number solved for each type, it's going to be the number solved of each type in a given location. So we've got two, two criteria, the type and the location. Let's enter the sum s function, type equals sum ifs, and press tab. Now we have to type the sum range. This is here, the quantities. Then we put a comma. The criteria 1 is going to be the type. So the criteria range 1 is going to be the types. And criteria 1 is going to be plastic. So we're going to select plastic. If you wanted to type it in yourself, you would put speech marks, then write plastic. And they're going to put a comma. The criteria 2 range is location. So we're going to select that. Then I'm going to put a comma again. And criteria 2 is going to be what's at the top of the table, in this case, England. Now I don't want this to move for the rest of the table. So I'm going to have to press F4 up here to put some dollar signs around it to make sure that that doesn't drag down when the formula is dragged down the rest of the table. Now I'm going to close the brackets and press enter. That's telling me that in England there's one plastic sold, which is the top one here, and there was three metal sold, which is down here. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, as next time we're going to be showing you how to use the sum product function. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Goodbye.